Hello everyone, this is Tukan from LeadShift here. Um, uh, there has been a lot of anxiety, stress about from a sales development and, and account executive perspective when, when, when they're thinking of doing prospecting. Should they do it? Should they not do it? How should they do it uh, without sounding tone deaf and disingenuous? Today I have John Barros with me. John's uh, one of the most famous sales trainers for some of the fastest growing tech companies. Um, Hey, John. Welcome. Hey, Tukan. How are you doing, man? Good. How are you? Day by day, man. Uh, I think it's uh, like the rest of us. It's, uh, we're all in a new normal, and, uh, and, uh, and it's anything but normal. So I think every day you just kind of wake up and put your pants on and go to work and see what you can do, right? So. Fair enough. Yeah. So what I wanted to do, John, as I, as I mentioned, there is, I've been talking to a lot of salespeople and even marketing people, and, and one of the things they're saying is, you know, we, we still want to do business, but do it in the right way. Right. Uh, what do I tell my sales development team when they're prospecting? And how should they reach out? So what I, what I wanted to do record today, John, was, was to talk about, you know, how would you craft um, an, an outreach when you are cold prospecting to someone that fits your buyer persona? And how would you reach out to someone that is one of the target accounts that you've spoken to before, but it's not closed? Um, yeah. I want to focus on specifically around how do you craft that first email? Does that yeah, work? I mean, I don't think there's a right answer right now to tell you the truth. Uh, other than <clears throat> I, I think it really, this is a time to stop and, and think a little bit um, and, and get back to empathy and, and really giving a shit. Uh, and the reason I say that is because I think we've gotten into a world of automation, right? Sales reps, marketing automated everything. And then sales reps got these tools and now they're automating everything. And, they're, yeah. and, and the business acumen, the understanding, the empathy for who we're reaching out to has, has I don't want to say disappeared, but it definitely is a secondary piece compared to results. And, yeah. and I think it, now we need to flip it over. I, I think that we need to stop personally. I'm saying stop with the templated generic cadences. I'm not saying stopping with cadences. I'm not saying stopping re reaching out with prospects. I'm saying stop with the generic cadences. Um, and also stop with the fake empathy. Yeah. Don't, don't leverage coronavirus. Don't be an ambulance chaser here. And yeah. don't use corona to, to make some irrelevant connection to your solution. Yeah. If you have a solution right now that can help, so I'm going to put things in buckets here. Yeah. You have a solution right now that can genuinely help people in today in today, like we were talking earlier, Zoom info, right? Or I'm sorry, Zoom, right? Yeah. If I'm a Zoom rep, I'm calling every single prospect saying, I know you're working from home. We got a great solution. We have a free version. We have a paid version. Let's go, right? Uh, Survey Monkey, client yeah. I was working with. Surveys, you know, not so sexy, but right now you have a million people working from home. And yeah. if I'm a leader, I need a temperature check on those people. So a survey is a really good way to do that so I can get some insights into how much. So that's a reason to reach out, right? <clears throat> but if you're one of those products, you have to think right now of who you're reaching out to and you have to take that second, third layer here of not only who you're reaching out to and kind of where are they? Like, are they in New York? Are they in San Francisco? Are they in one of the really bad impacted areas? But also who do they sell to, right? So if you sell to somebody that is selling to travel right now, yeah. I mean, unless you can significantly save them money, really just don't. Or, or instead of prospecting into them, curate a whole list of really valuable resources that, that could help them in whatever free stuff, whatever it might be, you know, articles, insights, whatever, and just share it with them. Be like, look, I know it's brutal right now. All of our clients are in the same boat. Here's what some of them are doing to ride this wave. Here's some resources. Here's some small business loan stuff, whatever that is. Okay. And just really just lean in on trying to add value in some way, shape or form, or go interview your customers and engage with them in a different way. You know what I mean? Like maybe do something like this and do a little yeah. panel that says, hey, I wanted to bring our top five customers together here and talk about what you're doing in this time, right? So that you can gather that, gather that insight and then share that with your prospects, okay? But if you have something that's kind of in the middle, right? We still need to prospect. We still need to go out there. Two things is one is like it's easier now to personalize than ever. Because every CEO is talking, every company is sharing insights about what they are doing right now. So all you have to do is lead with empathy. Hey, Tukan, you know, hope, hope you, know, you and your family are healthy going through this. I was actually on your Twitter feed and I noticed where you said that you just implemented a work from home policy and blah, blah, blah. And, uh, and how you're dealing with the COVID-19 thing. You know, I wanted to reach out to you because, 
And if you can make a connection there yeah. to that in a genuine way, then go for it, right? Uh, otherwise, be like, look, I hope things are going well for you. We're working with other companies that are going through a very similar thing and here's some of the things that they're doing. Just thought I'd might share that with you, right? So that's one thing. The other is when you find something genuine, like outside of the COVID-19 where they're still doing stuff, right? And yeah. we talked about, you know, I think you had sent me a, a trigger from F5, right? So I'll share yeah. my screen here briefly. Um, let's see here, um, where you sent me this, where it was like, hey, they're doing some real world, rep so they're doing a, a webinar, right? Yeah. Which, and it's uh, how, how the explosion of open source technology. So this is something that's like a value add, right? Where wow. this is something that, that their organization is doing to try to add value to uh, threat awareness and all these different things. So there's, there's value in this. What I'm doing as a sales rep, first of all, I'm sharing this with context, right? So I can actually reach out to them and say, hey, F5, I see you're doing some work, you know, some webinars right now. So if I was selling sales training, Sure. I see you're doing some uh, virtual workshops here and some webinars that look like they're really relevant from a value standpoint to your audience. Um, I'm working with sales teams right now to show them how to take this type of valuable content and carve it up in a way with some context on top of it to share with their audience so that they can add value and, and try to get people to engage with them with tools like webinars and remote stuff that they're doing. I'd love to have a conversation with you about it. Let's have a com let's talk. Now, if I go a little bit deeper and I go, to the company and I go to the news and events and I see these press releases and I notice right here, additional, uh, let's see, uh, research available organization, a APAC, concerned with cybersecurity. Well, APAC is getting hammered right now with COVID. And, yeah. and so if we can tie that to cybersecurity and what are the cybersecurity issues related to COVID and make a connection to that, I might read into this article and say, hey, I notice you guys are doing a lot of stuff with helping APAC concerned with cybersecurity. I'm kind of curious how cybersecurity and the, you know, is being impacted right now by COVID-19. And you know what, we can talk to you about how we can actually help you expand that audience in APAC right now and get your message out to help those people think about what they might not be thinking about in a time like this. Cause I, I, mean, I was saying to a friend of mine the other day that like, if I was a, a hacker right now, this would be a great time to hack into any organ, any company, right? Because like everybody's distracted. So yeah. this is a couple of ways that you can prospect with empathy, with thought, with personalization, but go very deep. I love it. This is great. One follow-up question I have for you, John. All right, is, I'm going to fail quick. So what? <laughs> I got 1130. Yeah. Oh, sorry about that. That's all right. Would you, would you send follow-up emails? Um, I, it depends on what I found. You know what I mean? If I could find more stuff. Yeah. I would layer this with more jabs than right hooks though. Gary V jab, 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 right yeah. hook. Oh, I would yeah. try to come up with my story about all the valuable pieces of content that I had and then look for the triggers and then say, okay, which one's going to be my first real outreach. And then I'm going to share a piece of content. Then I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. But it all would have to tell a story and it all have to be empathetic to where we are right now. This is brilliant. Thank you so much, John.